Get to a lightweight bout between Nate Diaz and Conor McGregor. Well, as you'd expect, a Super Bowl feel in this arena here tonight because the biggest superstar in mixed martial arts history, Conor McGregor, is back. The celebrities are out in droves, all of them to see the former two-division UFC champion, the notorious Conor McGregor. The stars always come out when the notorious one steps in the octagon, and he's earned that right. He is the biggest star in mixed martial arts, not only in mixed martial arts, but in, in sports across all platforms, one of the best fighters the UFC has ever seen. Not only a great fighter, but a great spokesman, a great salesman, and a guy that people always want to see. And DC, we know you move that celebrity needle, but you don't move it like Conor yeah, McGregor. Not like the notorious one. We talk so much about his star power and what he has done for the sport, and rightfully so, that sometimes we don't spend enough time talking about just how skilled a fighter this is when it comes to distance management, the striking skills. We'll see how it goes for him here in the return tonight. All right, get out your 209 tattoos, folks. Here he is, the one, the only, Nate Diaz making the walk yet again. It's been a long time, but Nate Diaz is back tonight. He has put in all the right work. You know, few guys in this division work harder than Nate Diaz. It's good to see him back in the And UFC. you notice it, John, right? The cardio. The cardio is one thing that stands out about Nate Diaz. He looks like he's just touching guys with all of his strikes, but the buildup from all the, the activity that he puts out usually will make his opponents wilt. And once he gets into the ground, he's a jujitsu black belt that can finish the fight with a number of submissions. Yeah, he'll hit you with the open hand, too. He'll invoke that Stockton slap. You think we see that tonight? Stockton slap, but it's just so disrespectful. But I love watching. It's so Nate Diaz. Got to get you a Lafayette slap or something. <laughs> Good to see Nate Diaz back here tonight, one of the biggest fan bases in the world. And they are all watching the pride of Stockton, California here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Diaz is three years his senior. He will have a two-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions. We go to the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a kickboxer holding a professional record of 22 wins, four losses. He stands five feet, nine inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, the notorious Connor McGregor! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a jiu-jitsu fighter holding a professional record of 21 wins, 12 losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, Fighting out of Stockton, California, USA, he is an Ultimate Fighter season winner, Nate Diaz! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. All right, Herb Dean, third man in the octagon for this one. Ready. Here we go, round one, Nate Diaz versus Conor McGregor. Championship field in this arena tonight, my man. And they don't even have to have a belt on the line right. because of the animosity, because of the way the first two fights went together. Diaz with the submission in the first fight, thought he won the second fight. Conor building back up and beating him on decision. These are two of the best fighters in the world in just a phenomenal matchup every time they get matched. Oh, lands a stiff punch there, nice connection. Oh, nice land. Right hand. Oh, punches in bunches as usual from the Stockton, California native Nate Diaz. Looks pretty sharp here, DC. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. McGregor gets hammered by that solid uppercut. That one got his attention. Swing and a miss by Diaz. Oh, slips and then rips him. How about the upper body movement there? Nice kick with the right hand. Just 
over three minutes to go, round one. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Nate Diaz. Oh, oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, knee strike right to the midsection there. That one landed clean. Oh, he lands that too. All right, so he lands another jab now, just snapping that thing off, DC. I believe that the jab was lost in mixed martial arts initially, but now it has been found, and it's been found by this young man in this octagon tonight. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Nice stick with the right hand. Nate Diaz presses forward and lands here, DC. You know this is a pressure style and a pace that he can certainly keep up for 15 full minutes if needed. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Connor. Caught the kick. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. McGregor gets caught with that punch. Real quick. in the books. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. Round two now, Nate Diaz and Conor McGregor. Oh, man, I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have times where I've been kicked like that, and I'm going to tell you one thing, it does not feel good. Just out of range with that right hand. Big off the punch lands. Now we get back to range. Oh. No give on that leg kick. That strike blocked by McGregor. Oh, he lands a big left hand. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Nice connection there by Nate Diaz. Not a guy you want to let get going here on the 50 seat. No, because it's all downhill with Nate. Right, it's the activity that will overwhelm his opponent. And this looks like the start of that. All right, we call on the fight stats here. These numbers are unofficial, but they are strong. 51 total strikes have already landed for Nate Diaz. Oh! He didn't like that left hand. He's got him hurt here. He has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, McGregor's lower jaw now is starting to show some signs of swelling. Oh, and now he's hooked. That's one of those shots, but if you take one of them, in the night, that one landed right on the spot. Ooh, head kick lands, it hurts. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Diaz gets caught by that straight punch. You gotta do better than that defensively. Oh, just open it up on him now. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. What a, oh, what a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh! 
Nice defense there. Huge block. Diaz gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. As effective as straight punches we've seen all night. Huge straight punch lands, and he's got him hurt very bad. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? His opponent got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch in this clinch position. Two rounds in the books. All right, that is the end of the round, and the cut on his lip has gotten really, really bad. And at this point, you at least have to ask the question as to whether or not it's affecting his breathing. I think if this cut gets any worse, the doctor's going to have no choice but to step in, protect the fighter, and stop the fight. So here we go, the crowd on its feet as this next round gets underway. You saw in the previous round, both fighters got blocked. I don't think the scorecards are gonna be needed for this. No, the scorecards should not be needed. If we continue to fight as we did in the previous round, somebody just wants to see. Blocks the shot. Well, that one should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by Connor. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's... Okay, there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh! Nice one-two there. His opponent stayed up there. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Trying to stay in this fight! Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. They continue to exchange. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Great punch. 94 total strikes have landed for Nate Diaz. And landing with 55% accuracy against Conor McGregor. Well, fortunate that one didn't land to the head. The hook shot blocked by Diaz. And there is a Could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, if you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Nicely done there to keep his hands up and block that strike. He's got to protect that cut if he wants to keep the doctor out. He's got to protect the cut, John, but he's also got to be very aware because if he's got a smart opponent, opponent's going to start finding the body now because he knows the hands are really high to try to protect that cut. Oh, yeah. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches, he was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. He set it inside the octagon for the official decision. Here is Bruce Buffer.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop to this contest at four minutes, 27 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Nate All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.